Close your eyes and settle on the breath. Stay with it all the way in, all the way out. And then again with the next breath and the next. You're trying to make this place your home. So we're trying to make a home in the world outside. What does the world have to offer? There's gain and there's loss. Status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. These things are really unreliable. If you try to base your happiness on the good side, i.e. the gain and the status and the praise and the pleasure, it's bound to flip around to the other side at any time. And all those things that even the good things of the world aren't all that good. You know, whether it's providing the satisfying happiness that goes deep into the mind. That's the difference between the world and the Dharma. The Dharma goes deep into the mind. You place your happiness here. You start by looking not for things, but activities you can do that are good, like being generous, being virtuous, and meditating. And you find that you can generate happiness inside, a happiness that's a lot more reliable and goes deeper inside. So this is where you want to place your hopes for happiness, inside here. If you sit down and look at your mind, it seems to be a mess. Well, you can clean it up bit by bit by bit. It gets cleaner and cleaner. It becomes more a good place to stay. So work with the breath to make the body feel comfortable. Be alert in your mind to notice what the mind is doing that's unskillful, and then bring it around to what's skillful. This way, as you clean out things inside, you find you really can turn this house of the body into a home, a place where it is comfortable to stay. And it's good to stay. You know about the world, you have windows after all. Because you don't place your happiness out there. You place your happiness in here, where it's going to be safe. So work on cleaning out your house inside. And you create a version of the illusion that you recognize inside, just let them go, let them go. You don't have to keep them, you don't have to feed them. Let them fend for themselves. You can let them die. That's one of the few things the Buddha said that whose killing he condoned. He, someone who once asked him, is there anybody who's killing you do condone? And the Buddha says, one thing, anger. Kill your anger. That's not against the precepts, so clean things out inside. Kill any defilements you have inside, any of the pests that you have inside your mind. And that way you have a good place to stay here. You don't have to try to depend on the world being reliable. You don't have to depend on the world being there for you all the time. After all, someday you're going to leave it. And this is a place where you can't stay. It's a place where we come through, but we can't stay here. But you do stay with the qualities in your mind, so make sure that those are good. Look for your happiness here. That's when it can be secure.